So I have a degree in biology from Colorado State University, but I also have a minor in history. And I've really combined those two within my career. I always was more of a language arts person, and it was challenging for me to be able to get a degree in biology, but it's something I really wanted to do because I realized I really had a passion for learning about the life sciences. I did my degree in, in zoology, and in England, um, when you've done your, your bachelor's, you go straight on to do a PhD normally, and the PhD is a little bit different than it is here. It's really more like an apprenticeship, so you find someone who will take you under their wing and teach you how to do research. And then I went for a um, postdoctoral uh, fellowship in the Netherlands. I went to law school. I then had a career both at the district attorney's office as well as uh, private practice. Uh, but through that, I had the opportunity to volunteer. And I volunteered at our local zoo. So when I was faced with the opportunity to become the director of a zoo, uh, instead of saying to myself, I don't know how to do this, I used my legal background and the confidence I had gained to say, I, I probably can figure this out, take some time, listen, uh, educate myself, and ultimately I've been there 10 years and enjoyed every day of it. I found for me the best was uh, UC San Diego. I graduated from college and three weeks later I started working at the NOAA Fisheries. So I thought I wouldn't go to graduate school. I loved my job. I was a biological technician. I was going out to sea. I was doing one oceanographic research cruises. Very cool. And then... A few years later, I was a high-level technician. I loved that job. And I got to write a science proposal with my boss, a scientific article that got published. And I was, I felt on top of the world. I Third author on a paper. I was like, this is amazing. And I said to my boss, I said, this is what I want to do. I want to do this more. Let's write another proposal. I have some ideas. And he said, oh, no, 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 no. I'm glad that you liked that process, that's really important. But the way that you go about doing this, you have to go to graduate school. You have to learn the, how do you ask a scientific question. You have to know what is feasible. How do you design experiments? How do you, these are the things you have to learn in school. And so he said, I'm so glad. This is why I exposed you to this process. I wanted to see if this is what you wanted. And I'm glad that you did. Now it's time for you to go to school.